building a dive all starts at the low levels in the pool and the low levels of your mind. If you're gonna learn a new dive or, or if you're thinking of something, you just have to, to look at all, all your options, you know what I mean? What are your strengths as a diver? How are you gonna use that to, to work on whatever you know, idea you have? Um, and, and it's ground up, it's a ground up process. When you are training a new dive or a single dive, we used to make it from lower heights, from five, seven, and 10 meters. You have to practice the dive in different parts, taking into account each of the key moments that are gonna help you perform the dive successfully. So obviously, take off, mid-flight, and entry are the three big parts. And you're gonna get them really, really, really solid so that you know that when you go up top, you can perform these pieces correctly and perform the dive safely and successfully. A lead up is just where you're, you're going down to a lower height and you can really focus on the mechanics of the dive. Like, you know, are my arms getting all the way through? Am I staying core tight? Things like that. Basically, just like in the classroom when you learn basic math, and then algebra, and then calculus, and then trigonometry, or anything that goes further and further. It's a building block, and you're, you're learning as you go. Let's talk about my back triple triple. I start off with a back somersault straight from, from a static platform, so it would be the pool side or, or a one meter platform. Then I would move up to the springboard, and I would do a backward somersault with one and a half twists. Then I, once I get that good, I would move on to two and a half twists. Then I would move up to three meter springboard and I would do two and a half twists, one and a half somersaults. And I would land head first. Then I would do the same build ups from the five meter and the seven meter, one and a half somersaults, two and a half twists. And then for the finished article, I would go to the top of the 10 meter and I would do two and a half twists with two somersaults landing on my feet. Once I've done that and perfected that lead up, I'm then ready to go up to 27 meters and do three somersaults with three twists. I don't work only in the pool, only for the diving. Usually I make a lot of different things. We jump on the trampoline, we work, we make some gymnast stuff. You know you can do it, you just have to kind of o overcome that fear a little bit and just put it all together, because you, you know it's gonna be there. If you've done the, the lead ups and you've trained, you know, the sections of your dive and you have some experience high diving, you just have to trust that it's gonna be there. To finally perform a cliff dive uh, safely and successfully, especially if you nail it, I mean, there's, there's no greater feeling on earth for us. It really is truly where we feel most alive, most comfortable, just completely ecstatic.